All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, today our topic is about the infinite knowledge of Allah. You see, there's things uh, me and Allah we share. Uh, both of us we have a lot of knowledge, and uh, you know Allah knowledge is very infinite. Hmm. And how we can prove that the Allah have an infinite knowledge? Because there is a verse in the Quran says so. So all what you need to prove that you have an infinite knowledge is just to say so. If you say so, that's mean you have it. I mean, do you see how simple it is? So peace of Christ to all of you. We please invite your friends. And today our topic is very, very sensitive about the infinite knowledge of Allah <clears throat> now talk is cheap talk is a cheap my Skype is open if there's any Muslim would like to call us and to show us anyway in any case any proof that Allah have an infinite knowledge except Muslim posting for us a verse and the verse saying Allah have a lot of knowledge Allah is all knowing. Allah is what? All knowing. That's the only proof they have. That's it. Allah is all knowing. Hmm. A Muslim asking how God can be divided to three parts. Well, that's a good question, actually. Uh, uh, hold on. You see, how this is how Muslims, they help us in getting Allah busted about not knowing. You see, you just prove to us that Allah is not all-knowing by a simple question about the Trinity. The God of Islam, he think that the Christians believe not in the Trinity we believe in and you again proving that you and Allah both of you are ignorant about the Trinity because the Trinity is not God being divided why he is a piece of cake <clears throat> that's because you are a silly however as long as you mention this before we answer you about the Trinity can you tell me how Allah is all-knowing but yet Allah, he think that the Christians, they think that the Messiah is Allah. And if the Messiah is Allah, according to the Christians, what is the Trinity in Christianity according to the Quran? Any Muslim can tell us? If we go to your yellow pages book in chapter 5 verse number 17 it says the following remember this is your book not mine it's a plus plus I mean indeed are those who say Allah is a Christ the son of Mary here we need to ask a question how in the world Allah the all-knowing he come with this Do you see the ignorance of Allah, the Allah the all-knowing? He do not even know what the Christian belief is. We just saw a Muslim saying how God can be divided to three. Allah don't agree with the Abdul. Allah, he is saying to the Abdul, you idiot, the Christian don't believe that God divided to three. The Christian believe that Allah himself is the Messiah. We put the screen for you, no problem. This is chapter 5, verse number 17. So if Allah is all-knowing, why he is a fool? Why he do not know a simple thing about Christianity? Christianity don't believe in that. <clears throat> we don't believe that the Messiah is the same person as the Father. We believe in three persons, one God. The Quran believe that the Christian believe that the Messiah is Allah himself. 
So here we notice that the Muslims who try to debate us about the Trinity, they are ignorant about the Trinity, and Allah supposedly who is all-knowing, he do not even know what the Trinity is about. In different verse in the Quran, you will see the God of the Muhammad and saying the following. The Trinity suddenly is include Mary. But there is no Christian belief in such a thing. Some naive one, they might say the Catholic. The Catholic don't believe in Mary to be from the Trinity. That's stupid. That's a lie. The Trinity for the Catholic, the Protestant, and the Orthodox is Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. The Quran, he got the wrong Trinity. Allah says to Jesus, Did you say to your followers to worship me and my mothers as God? So look now what we have. The other verse is a contradiction totally to this verse. Because this verse is saying that the Christians have been taught to worship the Messiah as Allah. And here we can say that the Quran trying to replace Allah by the Father. But this verse here is saying that the Trinity contain no Trinity contain two. There's only Jesus and Mary. There's no Trinity. In different verse in the Quran, Allah get more educated and more smarter. The infinite knowledge of Allah. <laughs> <clears throat> So, look what the Quran said. In chapter 4, verse 171, Allah wanted to prove to us that there is no trinity. But remember, already he proved that there is no trinity in his religion by saying that the Christians, according to his religion, that the Christian believe that the Messiah is Allah himself. So, if Allah is the Messiah himself, as we saw, In chapter 5 verse 17 who is the second person at Trinity and who is the third person stupidity you see the stupidity and for those who do not know if you think they are the verse saying that Allah is a Christ which means God is a Christ you are mistaken my friend because Allah is a name of the God of Islam is not a word mean God as some naive idiot they keep saying and they claim that Allah is just a word mean God Allah is not a word mean God. Allah contains two words already, and the word God is included. So the word Allah is like this. Just to remind the naive one or educate them. Al. Uh, sorry, we are typing in Arabic. Al and then La. Al is a word mean God already. So the second you say Al, you are saying God. The second word is Lah. That is the name of the God of Islam. So when you say Al Lah, you are saying God Lah. So this is the word God here. And this is the word which is the name of the God, La, here. They are two words merged together. In Arabic today, the word A-L mean the, like you say, the house, the tree. But this is not the origin. The origin is Aramaic, and it is Al. And even in the old ancient Hebrew, the word A-L mean God, and then the word al became il so al as an example uh, and il is the same word so israel used to be israel and al here mean god il mean god so mikael mikael uh, ishmael ishmael so all those names used to end by al, which mean oh, it's an, it's not a name; it's a word meaning God. All right, this is why we see all the names of the angels, 
or even Israel end with Eel, uh, Mikael, Gabriel, uh, all of them, even in the Islamic books, because Muhammad is a thief, he copied the names of the angels from the Jews, they end all with Eel, but yet the word Eel does not exist in the Quran. Now we go back to our topic. So as long as Allah is a God <clears throat> who have an infinite knowledge, how come he could not recognize that the Christians don't believe in what he's just saying? I mean, it doesn't take really much for Allah to know what the Christian is God, supposedly. God, but did he not know? Let us imagine uh, somebody claimed to be God, but he did not know what Jehovah's Witnesses believe. That would be funny, isn't it? Somebody claimed to be God, but he don't know what the Ahmadiyya believe. So if your God is God, he should know very simple stuff. You know, this is we are not talking about the science now or uh, knowing uh, the galaxies and behind the galaxies. And uh, it is just a simple, just a belief of a group of people who believe in something. Can't you even quote for us the Trinity correctly? He cannot. If we go to the Quran, chapter 4, verse 171, you will see the infinite knowledge of Allah proven to us that Allah is the most ignorant God. How? This very supposedly is trying to say to us, don't say Trinity. Don't say Trinity. If we go back to the Abdul who asked me the question, let me see where it was his question. I will go back in text to put it in the screen again. <clears throat> He asked us how God can be one yet divided to three. Where is his question? Uh, eh? What? I cannot go more. Look, I I need to find it. Let us see. Where is the guy question? Maybe he can type his question again so we can laugh together. Anyway, so we showed you what he said, that how God can be divided into three. Well, I will ask you the same question. First of all, I don't believe that God is divided to three. Only donkeys believe in that. We don't believe that God is divided. God is one. But look what your God said. That don't say Trinity. Don't what? Don't say Trinity. You see it? Say not Trinity. Mm -hmm. So what we say? Say no Trinity. It don't change the topic, Saul. Just don't don't change the topic. Who was Jesus praying to? Praying to his father. I mean, simple. I mean, see, you see how naive the Muslims. This is why we say Jesus is a person. God the Father is a person, the Holy Spirit is a person. So Jesus the Son as a person praying to the Father. Who is Jesus praying to? To the Father. <laughs> this is why it's called Trinity, you idiot. Now look at this. Your God Allah saying no Trinity, but he just said that Jesus the Christ himself is the word of God. He's what? Christ Jesus, the son of Mary, was a messenger. Okay, so he was a messenger. Let us take a note, please. He's a messenger as a what? As a man. So he's a man. That's wonderful. What else? And he was the word. Word who? Of God. Okay. So now Jesus is a man and he is the word of God. And what else? And this word came down to Mary. And the spirit proceeding from him. So Jesus is what? Is a man. Is a word. Is a spirit. A three but one. Now the Abdul who was saying to us that this is impossible. Suddenly it is possible. Because how Jesus is a three and one in the same time. Any Muslim can explain to us? The same verse saying, say no trinity. Proving to us that a trinity is possible with one person. His name is Jesus. Do you see it? And here you see the infinite stupidity of the author of the Quran. 
you are trying to show us that impossible to be three and one in the same time but here we go Jesus is a flesh of a man Jesus is the Word of God and Jesus has the Spirit of God and not only he has the Spirit of God he is a spirit proceeding from God is somebody saying those are attribute that's very stupid what attribute spirit is a spirit flesh is a flesh and word is a word how you can be a word and attribute are you the word of God is not a created this is what the Muslim believe the word of Allah is not a created the spirit of Allah according to the Quran this is a spirit proceeding from him He's a man, he's a spirit, he's a word. So the Muslim now they will try to play and say attribute. What attribute mean? What the word of Allah is an attribute. How how that can be? What does that mean? Do you see how silly even the, the, the answer? The word of Allah is attribute. Why is that a description? Like you are saying, God is a great, God is big, God is a small. God is fat. What attribute? This is a word of God. Word of God. And by the way, Muslims do not even know what the word of God is. The word of God is God. Because how the Quran explained to us how Allah created everything, the Muslim they say by his words. So Allah cannot create anything without his words. What does that mean? What does that mean? That means the power is in the world. But the Muslims, because they are a counterfeit cult, coming out of many religions, they do not know how to explain how the word of God can explain the creation, and yet they say that the word of God is not God. So the Muslims believe that the word of God is not God. In the same time, they believe that the word of God is not created. So now we have to divine. However, the important for us that the word of God here is making a big problem to Allah because Jesus became word and man and a spirit in the same time. Three, but yet the one person. And by the way, this is not our Trinity. This is the Muslim city Trinity. Now, if we go back to the main topic, not only Allah do not know, what the Christian believe, Allah know nothing about any belief, including what Islam is about. If we ask Allah, how we can go to heaven, Allah? You see, I'm not talking about science yet. How we can't go to heaven? Hmm? He said to you, I will, uh, I will send you a messenger. You will send us what? Uh, messengers. Okay. So to go to heaven according to Allah, uh, uh, he will send us a warner, and the warner he will tell us, and then if we accept the warner, warning, we go to heaven. Are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> the Quran contradicts itself. Tons of verses saying that Allah, he sent messengers to warn us. And if you accept the warner's message, we don't deny them. We are going to be saved. But then the Quran say a different story. That the warners, they have no business and they cannot save anyone. By the way, any Muslim, he feel like uh, he's excited. He think he have knowledge, feel free. You can call me in Skype. As to those who reject faith, it is the same to them, whether you warn them or not. They will not believe. <laughs> 
this is the infinite knowledge of Allah but those the same people who Muhammad he said to them those verses all of them later they became Muslims do you believe it he was saying those verses to the tribe of Quraysh which not a single one of them stayed alive and he did not become a Muslim so how the infinite knowledge of Allah come with such a stupid statement that you warn them or not they will not believe any Muslim have an answer You just said they will not believe But they later they believe and then look at this the infinite knowledge of Allah It says that Allah has set seal on their heart on their hearing on their eyes a veil hmm. Have you ever heard of a God like this he set seal on their heart their heart uh, their their ear hearing and their eyes and he is a predicting they will never believe and later all of them believe later all of those who he said they will never believe and Allah he set a seal and their heart and their hearing and their eyes all of them became Muslim later this is a false prophecy and this is showing us that Allah have no knowledge because if Allah knew the future he should know better that those people later will believe Right? What about we go and talk about science? Have you ever heard of a God you do not know how the baby is created? Have you ever heard of a God he think women they have a sperm and their sperm coming from their ribs, specifically the location of the necklace and their chest? And by the way, this is why I'm still single. I'm afraid I will marry a woman. She take off her clothes, and then I find I find that instead of having two breasts, she have balls. I'm really scared because Allah knows best. As long as Allah He says that the sperm coming from that location, obviously they have balls there. This is the God who have infinite knowledge. Don't you think this is a very infinite? When the last time Allah he saw a woman she have testicles in her chest Not only that Allah he think that the sperm of the man is coming from his backbone This is why there's a song. It's called Backbone backbone. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when I come for you backbone backbone? Very well known uh, song Hmm? This is the infinite knowledge of Allah Don't you think this is too much infinite ribs and backbones Who is a Muslim he agree with the infinite knowledge of Allah that women they have a sperm coming from their ribs specifically the location of a tribe which is the necklace location Hmm? No, 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 the song is not bad boys bad boys. No, you are mistaken the first one who made the song It was Allah. It says it's a verse in the Quran backbone backbone What you gonna do what you gonna do when I come for you backbones backbones Allah because he is going to come to us in the judgment thing remember that you know Yeah Science this is the infinite knowledge of Allah Who is a Muslim here from the religion of Abdulism? He think that Allah have an infinite knowledge and he like to feed us with it. Because I don't see that yet. Anyone? Don't don't sing. Why is my voice is ugly? Really? Okay, I will stop singing. I, I thought I'm going to change my career uh, to start singing, but look like I have no future with the song uh, Backbone, Backbone. 
אוקיי. אני אבדול? Who is a Muslim would like to show us the infinite no what about the Sun set in the Mercury and by the way if the Muslim they want to say oh this is doesn't does not mean that we can show you the reference this is what the Muslim understand it is what the Muslims agree upon and this is not our interpretation actually uh, let me show you the reference so the Muslims the Mohammedan they will not say Christian Prince making things up brother Hmm. Zakir Naik. The biggest idiot who have nothing to say except stupidity. And the Muslims, none of them even like he say, like what did this guy he just said? Like, are you serious? Yes, brother. <laughs> you know, the Muslims sometimes they remind me of like uh, little uh, little chickens who follow whatever move around them. When they come from the egg, it doesn't matter if even if it's an alligator. So they knew that Zakir Naik is defending Islam. So we, def you know, whatever he say it must be true. It's the, the, the brother, he's a brother defending Islam, brother. Even if what he says is so stupid, it doesn't matter. Who cares? <laughs> now this is uh, one of the Muslim scholars who made his book to defend Islam, not to explain the Quran. All the purpose of his book Ibn Kathir is to explain. Refutation how to refute the Christians. We're making fun in that time on Muhammad religion Allah said so let the man see what he is created Okay but How he is created he created from water gushing forth meaning sexual fluid that comes out the breasting forth from the man and the women that the child will produce from both of them okay there's a sexual fluid from the man and the women and that will make the baby allah allah infinite knowledge how that happened proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs meaning the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women backbone backbone what you gonna do what you gonna do when i come for you backbone what is that man this is really deep the ribs of women which referring to her chest this is where the baby is coming from women have a sperm brother from their chest they did lie to us they said women don't have a sperm it was a lie those scientists they were lying to us all those years the infinite knowledge of Allah proved the opposite that women have a sperm and their sperm is coming from the location of their necklace in their chest. Do you see how the school they did lie to you? Hmm? Which school you went to? Give me the name of the teacher. This is the infinite knowledge of Allah. Are you sure? <clears throat> hmm? I'm so excited about Allah knowledge. I am not I'm exhausted from Allah knowledge, not excited. I wish this cult one day, I wish I will go to sleep and this cult will disappear because this cult is causing problems to hundreds of millions in this earth. Wherever this cult goes, peace fly. Not only ignorant come, peace and violence, peace goes, violence come. This is what the cult is very successful in. I cannot find one place in the whole earth where this cult bring peace with it. Uh, please don't say that uh, word, Muslim slayer. We don't slay a Muslim here. I will give you a warning. Next time you say that, I will ban you. I will put your time out now. We are not here to stay Muslims and we are not here to teach violence. This is stupid of you to say, uh, forgive me to say that. Nobody here is coming to slay Muslims. We are not criminals. We are attacking Islam. We are not speaking about Muslims. 
So watch your mouth and don't say stupid things. We are Christians. We are not criminals. If I hate Muslims, I will not come here every day and warn them so they will be saved from this cult. What I do here is not only for the Christians and not only for the Hindus, the Buddhas, the atheists, it's for the Muslims and maybe before all of you together. You know, you, when you mean in a spiritual mean, say in a spiritually, but you don't say the word slay and slayer, blah, 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 blah. People, they will get you wrong. Uh, well, if there is a Muslim from Indonesia, he would like to call me, feel free, please. Who is a Muslim from Indonesia who would like to call us? Or from anywhere. I mean, you don't have to be from Indonesia. Anyone? Any Muslim? Rabbi Nanas? Okay, where is Rabbi Nanas? And if Rabbi Nanas, this is his name? Uh, no, you should not hate anyone. The the second the hate come to your heart, then you are you are you are just became one of those people who involve in hate. Hate is your enemy. Should not be the Muslims. Should you should you should consider hate your enemy, not the Muslims. Muslims are people they've been you know been lied to, and the, the you know you see you are you are saying like okay. You, you know what Jesus said in the Bible says time will come and people will think by killing you doing a favor to God Which means even those who they think they are doing good This is exactly what the Muslim think so those people they want you to be good But they are misleaded So you can find between the Muslims a lot of wonderful people who they are really striving to be good But they are taking the wrong direction. So if you really love peace you don't fight hate by hate. You teach them and show them that I don't hate you. Actually, I want to help you. So do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Who is a Muslim? Would like to call us Rabbi Nas ID. Oh, this is his name. This is his name in uh, the Skype. Rabbi Nas. Okay, let me let me search his name in Skype. See if we can find this gentleman. Well, I found many of them. So which one? And one is from. There's. I mean, there is many. Click at more, you see more and more. Give me your exact ID, my friend, not just happiness. Anyone? It is his channel from you. So he is not here. So guys, why are you telling me there's a guy? I mean, I thought he's here. Don't tell me there's a guy, there's a girl, there's... He has to bring the guy. If he's here, is he? What I would do now? I would would go to him, say, hey, come and debate me. I'm here. Whoever want to call me, he can call me. Go to his channel. If you have a channel, tell him, hey, do you want to call this guy? Yeah, Sanihu. Uh, Sanihu. <laughs> Sanihu. Yes, yeah, Sanihu. Sanihu. Yes, yeah, Sanihu. Yes, yeah, it's a Sanihu. Sanihu. Yes, yeah, Sanihu. This guy, Sanihu, I, I, I'm, uh, I thought he will never appear again after what he did to him <laughs> in YouTube. <laughs> Sanihu. He should change his name from Sanihu to Sihu. Any Abdul? Anyone? 
will you debate Muslims and Christianity my friend when we are debating about Islam we are debating about Christianity because all of Islam is based on what on stealing names from us Gabriel where is, where is this Gabriel came from from us Mikhail Mary Moses so, so we are debating Christianity now what, what do you think we are doing Islam is a fabricated version of Judaism and Christianity would you vote for Trump in 2020 I mean do, uh, do we have someone else to vote I mean, America, this is America in America, they bring you two donkeys. One he will hit you in your balls, and the other one will hit you in your head. So choose which one. So Trump, he might hit me in my shoulder. So I have to vote for him because the other one will hit me in some way, somewhere is going to hurt very much. But at the end of the days, all of them they are donkeys. So who's a Muslim here would like to uh, tell us the infinite uh, knowledge of Allah? Anyone? Any Abdul? Any Muslim? Forget about uh, politics. Politics is dirty and stupid. And all those who speak in politics, they are not honest. They believe in something, they say something else. All of us, we knew it. Here, we don't do that. Here, we say what we believe in. Any Muslim would like to tell us, in a friendly way, what is the infinite knowledge of Allah? Is it really the infinite knowledge of Allah to believe that women, they have a sperm coming from their ribs, and men, they have a sperm coming from their backbone? So what is the, uh, what is the reason for testicles? Is it decoration? Why the man have a testicle, you think? Is it for balance, like when you walk in a stick, like in a rope between two buildings? The balls will, like, will, will balance you? Why the man have a balls then? If, if the sperm is coming from the backbone. I don't know, any uh, scientist? Uh, I mean, I'm really amazed with the science of Allah and the infinite knowledge of Allah. That's so deep. I was wondering, like, why the testicles for? What for? First, I thought maybe when we are kids, we can play basketball with them. But you cannot. They hurt. So what for? Then I say to myself, maybe they help us to uh, float when we swim. <laughs> but they don't do that too. So what they are for? As long as the sexual fluid is coming from the backbone of the man. Any Abdul? Excuse my my honesty. <laughs> I'm very naive. I don't know what I'm saying, brother. I'm trying to learn. It. What is that? يخرج من بين الصلب والترائب. And the Muslim he sing it for you. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. Oh, is it a party time? I can sing anything if you have a nice voice whatever you sing is going to come good so you want to try to convince me that the Quran is a beautiful book by singing it I, if I sing the yellow pages if I have a nice voice it doesn't matter what I sing is going to come good but the problem is explain it to me and then they say to you Allah knows best hmm <clears throat> Any Mohammedan? <coughs> Who is a Muslim would like to uh, call us? You know, like, uh, you know, Hamba, why you keep repeating the name of this guy? I think you are this, you are this guy, aren't you? Why you keep repeating this guy? We, we said many times, this guy is just a kid. You have a mental illness I just block you because I think this is you 
don't mention the name of this guy this guy is a mentally ill what's wrong with people you are desperate what about this guy and what about this guy and what about that guy and and what about that guy bring them whatever they have and this guy specifically you keep mentioning his name is an idiot stupid you have mental issue you want to talk to him you talk to him what seed do you use for the Quran it doesn't matter what seed all of them they are full of lies uh, you know but the one I'm using right now in front of me you mean for Nikathir there we go I will give you the link but never trust those seeds because like Ibn Kathir in English is not even 10% of Ibn Kathir in Arabic everything in Arabic is gone everything I mean the, the real uh, tons of pages disappear any Muslim here Dr. Rohi is a doctor from Al Azhar University. Do you know what Azhar University? Let me explain to you what Azhar University is the highest education school for Muslims in the world. But only, only losers join it. Which means if you have a very low grade in high school, you go to Azhar University. If you are a person who do not know how to read, you go to the Azhar University. If you are a person of all the schools in the country that refuse you in Egypt, you go to Al Azhar University. This is exactly Al Azhar University. It's for losers. So they have a PhD from the loser university. Yet they claim that they are, you know, Azhar University, like a big deal. <laughs> Azhar University. Yeah, all right. <laughs> for a great period of time chapter four no no we don't want to change the topic today topic is about uh, uh, the infinite knowledge of Allah we want to know how Allah he have infinite knowledge and yet he says silly stupid stuff hmm? how this is can be God he doesn't know even how the baby is created how Muhammad he think he is a messenger of God and he claimed that Allah he taught him how the baby is made as an example Muhammad he claimed that we are created from a sperm and when we say sperm here which mean anyone after Adam so only Adam is not from a sperm but how the process work the Quran explain and the hadith explain Muhammad he claimed that the sperm of the man stay in the women, women Billy for 50 days. The infinite knowledge of Allah taught Muhammad how the baby is created. And the infinite knowledge of Allah come to a conclusion, brother, that the infinite uh, hold on does it say 50 now I know where this name uh, this movie came from 50 shade what 50 what shade of a gray or something like that uh, I was thinking where this is coming from they where they took the name from hmm hmm from the hadith so when the drop of semen brother remain in the womb of 40 days or 50 look the prophet is honest we have to be honest here the prophet is honest he is not sure like 40 50 they bent huh they bent like if it's an arab arab he like to stay more if it's an arab sperm and i am an arab i remember actually i stayed there i think i, I think uh, actually more than 50 days i think it was 57 days you know because there was rain outside and then when i get out you know like Come on, the weather is not good, really. 50 days. Like, are you sure, Muhammad? Prophet Muhammad, you learn this from the infinite knowledge of Allah or from the infinite knowledge of Al Azhar University? <laughs> Unbelievable. True story.
Can you Abdul want to tell us when Muhammad he got this infinite knowledge from? Hmm. Don't you think this is too much? Yeah, the uh, first and last asking how the uh, uh, Muhammad he wanted to explain uh, how why we have winter and why we have summer. So Muhammad he claimed that the heat of the the summer come from the hellfire, and the cold is coming from heaven. Let us see the hadith, because this is fit with the infinite knowledge of Allah. Okay. <clears throat> Let us get the hadith. Let us see the, the knowledge of Allah. The Messenger of Allah is dot a dot w bracket. Hey brother, I think this is a coding thing. I'm really, what is that? Okay. The fire complained to the Lord. The fire, yeah, brother, the fire, the speaker, the fire. It said, some part of me consuming the other part. So he allowed it to take two breathers. <sighs> and then, after he allowed it to take two breathers, one during the winter and one during the summer. <laughs> and this is a brother, how Allah explained the heat this is where the heat is coming from brother do you see it this is from the infinite knowledge of Allah what do you say about that how Allah he knew this Hmm? How Allah he knew this? You tell me. Isn't it? This is brother is amazing. If Allah brother is not God, how he knew such a thing? You see the infinite knowledge of Allah. Right now, we have all uh, the proofs that Allah knowledge is inf infinite. A, a, a lot of infinity there. Who can deny that? You cannot. I mean, think about it. Hmm? Do we have any Muslim want to say something about the infinite knowledge of Allah? How Allah He says such a thing, and yet He have an infinite knowledge. Any Muslim? We see there is infinite stupidity, there is infinite intelligence. I don't see here anything smart. This is, cannot be from God. Who is a Muslim here? He disagree with me. And he agree with Allah. That this is how the winter and the summer happened. Anyone? Any Abdul? 
so what now there's no Abdul that's that's it I'm left homeless now nobody uh, what I will do now I mean this is not even fair I was really excited that Muslims they will call me and they will show me the infinite knowledge of Allah the astonish astonishing knowledge I mean how you can deny such a knowledge Nobody can deny it. Can you? Hmm. Very, very disappointed. I thought today the Muslims, my Skype will not stop receiving calls. I said to myself, I will go live on air and they will like tell it tell it tell it Hello? And then the infinite security or sorry, secretary of Allah will call me and will show me the infinite knowledge in infinite way. So when you Muslims you make an article and you call it the infinite knowledge of Allah, is that just for like uh, advertising purpose or it's real is that real anyone not real maybe very disappointing I feel sad now about thinking to convert to the infinite religion this is a lot of infinity here what else Allah he explained to us Muslims who want to help us who is a Muslim would like to give us something uh, proving to be true Allah he said and it is proving to be true just one thing anyone I mean like until now whatever Allah said it proving to be false so what we would do it will not be nice if everything Allah he said proving to be false that's mean he have an infinite stupidity not infinite knowledge anyone Allah don't remember what he created first the stars or the grass and the trees that's infinite ignorance how Allah is the one who created the earth and the heaven yet he didn't remember which one he finished first Allah he think that the Sun set in the murky water in fact it does not it set in my water tank and I have a video of it True story, brother. Hmm? Don't you think this is really amazing to have an infinite knowledge of Allah like this? And if you read the article which the Muslim they make about the infinite knowledge of Allah, they are just shown as verses Allah saying He's all knowing. And he knows whatever there. <laughs> I mean, do you see the proof? He knows whatever there. Do you see the proof? That's it. What do you want more? He knows whatever there. All what we need to prove that Allah have an infinite knowledge is Allah saying he knows what is ever there. That's it. Who need more? nothing Allah saying crazy stuff it's okay Allah do not know how the baby created it's okay Allah he think women have a sperm and their sperm coming from their ribs it's okay but the proof that Allah have an infinite knowledge Allah said so and that said this is the only proof they have no other proof
Isn't it crazy? That you Muslim believe in Allah having infinite knowledge just because there's a verse in the Quran said so? Shouldn't you examine his knowledge? Because you see, if Allah have a knowledge as you claim, that's mean really he's God. But as you see, all those videos in YouTube claiming that there is science in the Quran, crazy stuff, it's a fabrication. It's not true. It's not even close to the truth. Who is a Muslim? Would like to call us and show us ex like any example of the infinite knowledge of Allah any knowledge anyone Miki Malai want to call me okay Miki are you a Muslim my friend Miki are you a Muslim you can call me only if you are a Muslim uh, Alex, don't change our topic and no, the Catholic Church did not create Islam and actually if not the Catholic all of you will be Muslim by now Only silly and stupid ones is the one who says such as such, such a claim if the Catholic Church is the one who created Islam So who is the crusade? The donkey he said that you tell him ask him who is the crusade then? Only donkeys actually certified donkeys they say such a statement a donkeys with degree like they have a big sign in the top of their ears says donkey all right who is a Muslim would like to call us anyone so that's it or should I you know what happened to the Prophet when he got sad he tried to commit suicide. I'm thinking about it. And the other day, actually, I tried to commit suicide. I jumped from the top of a <clears throat> cigarette box and I throw myself from the high of that box and nothing happened. And this, But next time I'm going to try something higher. The infinite knowledge of Allah. Does it know that Muhammad, he will try to commit suicide? So why he don't send him the angel Jibreel before he climbed the mountain? The poor guy Muhammad, each time he arrived to the top of the mountain, now suddenly the angel, the angel just appeared. He, hey, Muhammad, stop, don't suicide yourself. Why you don't appear to him before he go from his bedroom, you idiot? You let Muhammad climb the mountains, go to the top of the mountains. I mean, do you know how hard it is to climb the mountain, my friend? The infinite knowledge of Allah did not know that Muhammad he is going to the mountain now to kill himself. So we wait for the last second to say to him, Truly, truly, you are a messenger of Allah. Any Muslim? Not a Muslim will not tell us about the infinite knowledge of Allah. All right. Well, we are trying to help the Muslims actually here. I'm not here to, you see, it might be funny and, you know, like, but what I can say, I mean, it's, it's stupid. The topic is stupid and it's funny, but I'm not trying to uh, make fun of you, Muslims, and trying to help you. This is what Islam is. Imagine that Allah have an infinite knowledge and then the Prophet Muhammad Supposed he's a prophet. He climbed the mountain He reached the top of the mountain and Then when he reached the top of the mountain Jibril appeared in front of him and He said to him Khabibi Muhammad remember Jibril is a Jew Khabibi Muhammad Khabibi Muhammad don't commit suicide Khabibi you are a truly truly a prophet Okay, if Allah knew 
he have an infinite knowledge why he wait until the poor Muhammad climbed the mountain and he did that many times what about you appear for him when he put his shoes in his feet to go and do it before he go it's like think about it this way Christian Prince is going to uh, Indonesia and he heard in Indonesia there's a volcano and he want to jump in the volcano brother Christian Prince he put his shoes he back his bags he take a camel and he by, by the way Arabian camel they can swim yeah this is how Adam was able to come from Sri Lanka all the way to Mecca mm -hmm. yeah from Sri Lanka Adam was from Sri Lanka in case you not known as now so uh, uh, I go all the way there and then when I arrive to the top of the volcano Jibril he appeared in front of me he says see me Habibi Habibi you are a truly prophet of Allah and CP will say to Jibreel look you idiot now you tell me what about you appear to me when I was home in Mecca huh you took me to take my camel and go and I am sad in the way I'm going to kill myself I mean now you tell me I mean what you don't tell me before and don't Muhammad knew already that he's a prophet I thought he does because this is long after he got the, the first squeezing hmm? yeah uh, the story of Adam that he is from Sri Lanka this is approving the roots of Islam to be from the uh, from the Hindu religion the Hindu they have a black stone the Hindu they have what something similar to Kaaba where they place a black stone in the middle present the vagina and the and the male private part the Hindu they shave their head the same exactly as the Muslims the Hindu they wear exactly the same sheet the Muslim they go and wear around the Hajj it's exactly the same thing I mean you do not need to be genius go right now type pictures of the Hajj and type pictures of a Buddha priest in India Hindu you will see both they wear the same clothes and by the way maybe some of you will think okay well India is far away from Mecca you're absolutely wrong my friend Saudi Arabia is very close you see now we are talking about uh, <clears throat> Uh, like uh, Iran and Hormuz you know what Hormuz is let us go there to the map just to show you okay we are here in the map this is the Persian Gulf which the Muslims the Arab they call it the Arab Gulf you see they are fighting over the name so the Persian Gulf is this this is the distance between the Arabian Peninsula and India that's it you cross here you are already in India which now is Pakistan you know that's it and this is like few kilometers this is not like a big different or big distance so it's very close and ship and boats they used to go and exchange goods between those areas for centuries and very normal that they exchange religion too and history proving that the Arab used to worship stones and they replace stones with better stones and even the hadith report that The hadith says, Kunna na'budul hajar. We used to worship stones. And when we find a better stone, we throw the first stone and we replace it with the second stone. And we used to do tawaf around them too. Tawaf, which means going around them, you see? Read it. We used to worship stones. 
and we when we find a better stone than the first one we would throw the first one and take the later one this is the this is the Muslim books not our books <clears throat> you see it and then after they find a new stone which is nice stone for them what they do they do to off around it and if they could not find a stone they mix dust with milk of a sheep and they make a statues or a stone and they go around it exactly as they do in the cabana pure pagan cult the island of Dajjal this is a stupid story Muhammad he claimed many stories there's a guy he came to Muhammad and he told him that he uh, he was an island and he saw uh, a beast etc and say so at the jar yes, stupid stories and Muhammad whatever story he hear he like it he adopted and the Abdul you see I'm really here uh, like uh, I thought from Indonesia we will get some callers that's why I'm I made it now actually so so people from Indonesia they can join us what is the Indonesian Ustad I thought the Indonesian stars will be all over me now they will be calling me and like getting me busted brother where is the Indonesian Ustad there's no Ustad no more No, we don't want to say coward. No, my friend, I don't think that it's about coward. But you see, when you notice that the person he speak with knowledge, you step down. No, this is not about being coward. This is about being, let us say, he they notice that, well, we are no match. This guy is not the one we can play with. And those who call themselves Ustad, they make m money out of those poor people. If they call me, they will lose their career and they will be fired from their jobs. Who is going to give them money any uh, after that? Imagine this uh, guy, uh, what's his name? Sheikh Abdul Wadud. You, you saw his the debate with me, right? Forget about Rohi, this Rohi, Dr. Rohi. But I mean, who is going to hire those people after they speak to me? Nobody. Everybody saw what happened. It's a career ending. Ustaz, Ustaz, it's not Ustad, but the, but the Indonesian, they use the word Ustad because, it's, you know, their English is funny. So Ustaz supposedly means a master, teacher. Okay? But they are no teachers, neither masters. No, I'm serious. I mean, Dr. Rohi have a PhD, and then I said to him the word lahu mean women. He said to me, never. I said, are you sure? He said, yeah, <laughs> never. You know, this guy have a PhD supposedly. And each time I ask him about a verse, he have to open the books to read the interpretation. He know nothing. Why you need to open the books? Anyone can open the books. Yeah, we can open. Uh, I can debate them privately, but I'm afraid they will try to squeeze me. Like Jabril, he squeezed Muhammad. You are from the hot Arizona? my friend moved to Mecca you know nothing about hot you want to see how hot it is go to Saudi Arabia go to Saudi Arabia go to Kuwait
You do not need to cook your eggs. Just put them in the sand for two minutes. <laughs> they are cooked. <laughs> I I wash my socks. I put them in the side of the counter, and they are dry. By the by the time I go to the kitchen, I grab something to drink. I come back. They are dry. Totally dry. They are inside the house. So imagine outside the house. If you sit in your car seat, you will be burned, literally. Actually, uh, there is cars, if they are not made for that area, they will be melting. Uh, Let me show you some pictures. This is why those areas, you know, you know, you know what is this? Do you know what is this, right? <laughs> I'm sure all of you you know what what is this this is the one you would like you want to stop traffic or etc look look at it you believe it yeah this is what we are. look at those cars look at this car and the funny uh, the stupid ones they say they speak about the global warming this is Kuwait it is like this since centuries ago what a global warming you idiot global warming yeah so you have no idea what heat is once i burned my hand actually i tried to open the door of the car and i was you know i did not hold anything in towel in my hand or etc and that the car was in the sun i burned my hand Literally, I burn my hand. I have like a second degree burn. My fingers, my the the uh, uh, the skin right away start making bubbles of water. Yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> this is why the Quran he promised the Arab that in the heaven of Allah there is no. Uh, sun there's no sun because the arab are really upset from the sun this is why allah is the moon god the moon god who I, allah he have them like the arab you see there's gods who they are in competition the moon god and the sun god those who live usually in a uh, in a cold area they like the sun god and those who live in a cold in a, in a hot area they like the moon god because the moon god is nice is a friendly and uh, you know uh, doesn't kill them the moon does not kill the moon does not bring uh, a dry weather there's no water it's not the moon it is the sun This is why the Quran promised them that you will not have sun on. Uh, uh. Oh, we have Pharisees. Uh, let us see. Maybe Pharisees will call. Uh, let us talk to Pharisees, guys. You want, you want to hear Pharisees? <laughs> Just for a snack. <laughs> Better than nothing. Let us call Pharisees. <laughs> Hey, Faris, how are you? I'm doing great. What about you, CP? I'm fine. Uh, are you reclining in your couch now, or you are where? Uh, no, still I'm on my work, you know. Ah, no okay. problem. I have like, yeah, I have maybe 10 minutes. Ago. No 10 problem. Minutes, 10 minutes no problem. is good. 10 minutes. You know, the topic today is about the infinite knowledge of Allah. Can you tell us something about the infinite knowledge of Allah? Allah knows everything. Like everything what? Everything. Like as what? A God. Like what? As a God. Okay. Mm. Okay, as a God. Mm. 
as a god you know everything he is al alim al jabbar al mutakabbir everything everything so why, not like so the, why allah he think that uh, the women she have a sperm coming from her ribs as long as he know everything see, again again why allah he think that your wife mm -hmm. with my respect to her she have a sperm and it's coming from the location of the necklace in her ribs yeah about this one I'll be honest with you. you want to be honest right mm. yeah yeah you want to answer right? yeah if you want to be make a debate or like I said you remember when I said to you CP are you like uh, preparing to debate me about things topics mm -hmm. about this one if you want to take about talk about the errors mm -hmm. I can bring the like you see also the same thing as the errors mm -hmm. about the Bible mm -hmm. I can bring Yes, mm -hmm. about what is, this. And what uh, is the answer now? Okay. At the moment, after, after what the you moment, said, after what you said, so are you saying now that you will not answer mm -hmm. me about the ignorance of your God, just because you, you see, want to be prepared? Again, again. Okay. Wait, why wait. Allah do not know that women have no sperm? First of all, women does not have a sperm. Secondly, okay. there is no sperm yeah. coming from their necklace location. Okay. Okay. okay no problem. Mm -hmm. you see, uh, once you finished, mm -hmm. let finished. Let I'm finished. Uh, no, no, I'm finished. About you. It's, it's you. Are you finished? Uh, no, still. Okay, so if answer I me. Speak, why Allah speak, he think? Why Allah he think that women they have a sperm and men have a sperm? The women their I, sperm coming from the ribs and the men coming from the backbone. Uh, uh, Faris, is, is your sperm coming from your backbone or from your testicles, brother? It doesn't matter. See, what do you mean? Doesn't, doesn't like matter. This, no, it doesn't question? matter, brother. This is uh, saying, yeah. brother. This is about the infinite knowledge of Allah. We want to know that what? brother Faris, his his his, his 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 sperm yeah. is coming from where? Is it coming? Maybe it's coming from your wallet. We do not know. So, can you tell us, yeah. brother, what kind of God you think that man is sperm coming from the backbone? As uh, once you finish, like I said, I finished. I finished run. now. Are you finished now? I'm finished. Huh? It's, it's your turn. Okay, I'm finished. Yeah, yeah, yes, good, good. You, you want to mark? I can't know about. I'm not mocking. I'm asking you a question. You keep saying to me, "Are you finished?" And you finished, and you did not say anything. So, are you going to answer yeah. why your God he think yeah. that men have a sperm coming from the backbone and women have a sperm coming from their ribs? Yeah, I got it. I got it. You see, yeah. I'll be honest. Like mm. I said, mm. if I don't know the answer, I said I don't know. So, do you know the answer or you don't know? No, about these questions, I don't know. I'm honest on that. Okay, so know, all this, uh, all this, can I finish? Can I finish? Can I finish? Are you finished? All of this to say to me, I do not know the answer. See that from the beginning. Okay, For, forget about this. Okay, give me something. Give me something. Prove the infinite knowledge of Allah. Anything. I'm not going to ask you about the errors. No. Tell me what proving the infinite knowledge of Allah. I said as a God, you know, you see, like what, like I what, like what, he knew what, everything about like what? God, you see, what we believe about God, he is the true, he's the powerful, unlike what you guys believe about the Bibles, because mm. Jesus, if he was God, mm. why he didn't know the hour, he didn't know where, when is the hour, no, so he, why, no, he knows. No, he know, but he said oh, Jesus. He uh, Jesus says that you see, we Christians we believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, correct? So we are people yes. who believe in the Trinity. Okay. So Jesus says that only the Father, because always He Himself, He Himself is obedient to the Father. My Father, yeah. let Your will be done. So that what Jesus is saying to you that it is at the end of the day that your mm -hmm. sin is going to bring judgment on you, and no man it's will do. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Talk about that. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Like the this. same chapter saying that Jesus knew when the hour will be. The same chapter saying not even the son of not even the son is the same chapter saying that he knew. Why? Why it says that? What Jesus is saying to you that is not for you to know. I am now between you, and it's not for you to know. And until now, there's no judgment day for you to know. However, Jesus said that when you do this and you do that and you do that. Judgment they will come. Mm -hmm. So in Christianity is not a predated judgment day. It is us, the human, who decide when mm -hmm. it's going to be. As an example, Sodom and Gomorrah. God, He did not bring His anger on them if there is only 10 believers, just 10 left in the city. But because there's nobody left, then He brought the anger. So the more we corrupt the earth, the faster judgment day come. It's not a preset like in Islam. So my friend, because of your city understanding, you could not understand. Now, we go back to zero. Can you give me one example of the infinite knowledge of Allah? You see, okay, let me see. Yeah, 
you can look I'm, I will speak in the Arabic because I don't know how to translate. What do you mean how you don't know how to translate? You, 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 speak, you speak English, come on. Yeah, I'll do my best. Faris, you, Faris, you, you have 10 degrees, you have 10 degrees in, in, in Spanish and 7 degrees in Chinese and 8 degrees yeah. in Camel urine. And now you do not know how to speak English, come on. Tell us something yeah, about the infinite yeah. knowledge of Allah yeah, yeah. in English. There is a cup. Oh, I can bring the camel urine if you want to drink it, really. It's good for you, too. Because the Bible speaks about eating poops. Yeah. Your God, your That's a lie. God, that, that's a lie. Eating. Here we go. You see, you're lying. You're lying. Okay, you're lying. Where it says that God, he says you eat poops. You're lying. I, 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 okay, if I prove to you that he's, he's your God in the Bible saying, will you apologize? Uh, I will apologize. And if, if not, I will call you a donkey. Do you agree? Yes, yes. Okay. okay. Go so ahead. Okay, give me okay, the verse. Just give, huh? give me the okay, verse. Give me just two, okay. You see, the, the verse is like this. You see, you're, you're, this is what I have. Like, if it is wrong, then Abdul, I am Abdul, Abdul, you are just a stupid it. fool. I know the verse. The verse saying that you will use the, the, the dunk for yeah. your fuel. You will uh -huh. use yes. the dunk yes. as a fuel. Okay. You will not oh, eat so the dunk, you idiot. And right <laughs> now, let me show you how stupid you are. Even you oh, Muslims yes, you and even Muhammad, he used dunk as a fuel. You, uh, you are, you see, like. So uh, why uh, you are, uh, why you are lying? So you know that this is not what the verse is saying. Why you are lying, Abdul? Why? Do you want? Okay, do you want the rabbit to be angry from you, the Muslim rabbit who converted to Islam yes. yesterday? Why you are lying? Okay. So, so now, so now we got you busted. The verse doesn't say that. Now, can you give me one example of the infinite knowledge of Allah? <laughs> you see the question like this. So can you yes, give me? You can you give me? Saying, can you give okay. me, brother? Can you give me a, an, any example of the infinite knowledge of Allah, brother? Are you sure, brother? Are you sure? Huh? Are you sure about this verse? Yes, yes, I'm what sure. This verse mean? Explain to us. Okay, what does verse mean? What does verse mean? Okay, go ahead. What does verse mean? Actions like two seas, they will not mix together. Mm. There will be a battle between two. The Which two seas? seas? What, what what is the first seas and what the second seas? Season. What is What's the first seas? Not season. Seas. You see, the, the, well, wait, wait. There are seas. Mm. Bihar and the uh, Abh, Bihar and yeah, yeah, two seas. Is, okay. uh, yeah, two, yeah, two. One sea and the second sea. Okay. Yeah, they're not going to be mixed. It's on. I, I think this is on my opinion. It's not on opinion. It's a fa I'm sure about it. I haven't read it in a scientific mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. But we are battle between the two. Muhammad peace be upon. Okay, what is the first scene? What is the first scene? Is it the sea? The first sea is the fresh water, and the second sea is the salty water. Correct. You see, there is on the sea. It's both will be salty. It will not be. I mean, both uh, will be salty. Kind of pure water. Both will be salty. I like, See, my Arabic is very simple and you understand Arabic my friend, well. Your Arabic is stupid Arabic, because if your Arabic is good, you should know that this is about two kind of water. One is salty, yeah. one is fresh, but you think they are too salty. You just say both of them are salty. You see, Baraj al Bahrain, what hmm. do you understand from, from this? Hmm. You tell me, what, what does that mean? Me they are too salty water, right? They are too salty water. Okay, I don't, I don't, I agree with you now. You just prove to us that Allah is an idiot because you said. Allah, he used just, the word Bahrain, and in order to be Bahrain, it would have to be salty water. But this is not what the verse says. The verse saying that those are, read the verse with me. This is the verse in the front of you, chapter 25, verse number 54. It like says, said, you see, it says this word, uh, one is word. salty and so, one is a fresh. But because Allah, he used the word Bahrain, he got you busted. So you, yes, you are right. Allah is an idiot. He said the word Bahrain, so he should mean too salty water. But by, by using that word, it's a wrong word. But he did not say that. He said it is too Bahrain, yes, about too salty water. But in the, in the top of that, he said one of them is a sweet, fresh, and the other one is salty. So, my friend, you are the one who mentioned that. Where is the first sea which is a fresh? Where we can find this uh, sea which will never met? You can, can you read the verse before that? No problem. I will go in Arabic because I don't have the Quran with the me. The verse right before now. it? I am doing my Bef work. The verse before it? Yes, before it, please. The verse before it has nothing to do with the verse after it. Don't, don't, uh, don't uh, like obey the kuffar and kill them all. Okay. Okay, after it, please. After that, it says, وَهُوَ الَّذِي مَرَجَ الْبَحْرَيْنِ هَذَا عَذْبٌ فُرَاتٌ وَهَذَا مِلْحٌ أَجَاجٌ 
وجعل بينهما برزخا وحجرا محجورا. This is another verse. This is another verse. Why are you mixing that? It's the same. It's the same. No, it's not. Okay. This is another verse. This is another verse. Okay, so let us go to the other verse. Here we go. Easily. Chapter but 55. Okay, everybody will laugh at you. No problem. A chapter. A chapter yeah, 55, yeah. verse number I 20. Know. Okay. Wait. wait see, I, you don't. You see, you're like a radio speaking 24 hours. <laughs> you see, don't interrupt. So the both of us will understand. Mm. I'm laughing really at you right now at the moment, mm. but no problem. But okay. See, what, this is the case. What is verse? When means? I say. Okay, when I said, when I said, you see, when I said, mm. you bring up uh, about the salty and, uh, you know, the, the the pure water, right? So this one is not about is salty it? and pure water, this one? The one you you, you read for wait, wait. me? For, for you and me and the audience will understand, please, mm. be very Okay, I'm just asking really. you, is this one, well, chapter 55? The one says, Is that about salty water and fresh water or about too salty water? Yes, yes, yes. I, I, about this, I know. But when you bring the water, I'm see, asking you, is it about salty water and fresh water or it's about salty water and salty water? Please answer first. I will answer. What, 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 what again? Is it about two seas? One of them is salty and the other yeah. one is a fresh, or it's about two seas? Both are salty. No, no, in my understanding, you see, no seas is like, you know, like uh, pure water. All of them are salty. Thank so you. It's, 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 I agree, it's I agree with you. Wait, I agree wait, with wait. you. So you are saying now that Allah is an ignorant. Because there's, see, no seas, there's, there's no seas, there's no seas, is except they are salty. You are, you are right. There's no seas except the salty one. So why Allah what? claiming that this is about two waters, one is salty and one is a fresh? As soon as you finish, please let me speak and don't go ahead. Abdul. Just for okay, well, go ahead, Abdul. I'm listening. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm Abdul, you're a bubble believer. No problem mm. with me. The thing is, like this <laughs> I said, you see, this is a challenge. <laughs> yeah, I said, mm. you bring up about the pure and the salty water. About this, is it in the context, the same verse? My friend, it is topic. about salty and it is about fresh water. You are stupid. Do you want me to yes. open the interpretation for you? Do you want me to open the interpretation for you? I want you to admit, I want you to admit that you are a stupid idiot who do not know what the Quran is saying. Do you want me to open the verse you choose? Do you want me to open the verse you choose interpretation? Which interpretation you want me to read? Give me a name of the uh, 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 interpretation, please. Okay, finish. just to show you that you are an idiot because yes, both of them, both of them, you idiot is about salty and fresh water. Both of them, both of them, no, you have to admit that you are stupid. Both of them is about both of them about salty water and fresh water. Do you agree or not? Do you make a challenge? Do you want to challenge? Yeah, I ch challenge you always, really. But you are okay. Here we go. Let us go to Ibn Kathir. Like Hold on, no, let us go to Ibn Kathir. Hold on, chapter 55, Ibn verse Ibn number Kathir. 19 Ibn and 20. Do you want Ibn Kathir Ibn or you want a different one? Which one you want? No, 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 no. Wait, I said, you see, point by point, you know, you what point by point, what, what, what point by point, what point by point, we are going point by point, brother. We are going point by point. Which interpretation you want so we can explain those verses? You are saying this verse about too salty water. I say no, it's about salty and fresh. So, which interpretation you like me to open for you? Like as I asked, see, very simple question, but you, you, you've been spanked easily, but that's why you're drumming here and here and speaking continuously because this is, we know about this. Really. Okay, what interpretation you like us to read? Don't waste my time and your time because the interpretation will prove either you are lying or I'm lying. Oh, we never even Kathir about this verse. Okay, let, let, let us go. Okay, guys, let us go to Ibn Kathir. Did he say Ibn Kathir? Did he say Ibn Kathir? His choice. Okay, chapter 55, verse number 19 and 20. Okay, Ibn Kathir. Here we go. Hold on, hold on. Everybody will see in a second. And either I have to apologize from you, or you have to apologize and admit that you are ignorant and you are not a Muslim, you are a Hindu. I think strongly that you are a Hindu and you are you are really trying you are a, you are a Hindu undercover brother. You cannot be a Muslim brother. Look, here we go. This is Ibn Kathir. Hold on, hold on. This is Ibn Kathir. This is Ibn Kathir. 
merge two seas, let them lose, according to Ibn Abbas' statement reading, okay? He prevent them from meeting by dividing barrier. He placed to separate them two seas of fresh water and salty water. Do you see it, Abdul? No, I'm not. Do, do you see it? Don't tell me you don't have that. Do you see it? This is Ibn Kathir. You said to me, read Ibn Kathir. And you okay. said, you said you are not a donkey. Now you have to admit that you are a certified donkey. No, you're not like you. You you're so stupid, really. Okay, there's a bit of really. Okay, now does it say does it say that this verse you choose for me about two seas? One of them is a fresh and the other one is salty. Yes or no? You see, you see, you see. Does it say that? In front of you, this is because here. I am ready. Just. Stop speaking. Let me speak. Because if you speak and I speak, the audience will not understand. The, it will be pushed. Don't worry about it. Don't speak. worry about it. They are having fun. The audience. The audience having fun. So what do you think? So are I, you? Uh, so why I, you were I, lying to I, me? Yeah. Why you were lying to me, Faris? You said this is not about salty water and fresh water. This is about too salty okay. water. Why you lie, brother? No, I never lied. So I it, never it says lied then you, you were saying understand. I am lying and this is not about and you said I changed the, the verse because that verse is about salty and fresh and this verse is not about salty and fresh. So you accuse me of lying. Now you have to apologize for that. I will, I will, I will as long as you just, just be quiet. You see, this, this I'm ready to apologize. I have no problem really. Mm. You see, by this way I can learn. Mm. I have two points. Just please be quiet. Don't, don't speak. Just all I'm asking this. Mm. Can you do that? No, I'm going well, to take thank a nap. You so much. Yeah, 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 whatever. You see, like, like I said, and I'm, I'm ready to apologize. My verse is like this like uh, Christians hear this. Hmm. My verse, like what I said, hmm. you choose, like, do you, when you do like the tafsir, Ibn Kathir, was it about this verse or, the, or, or another verse? This is about the other verse. And now I'm. Uh, you see, when I said the verse like "Maraj al Bahrain al Taqiyan bainu ma barzakhun la ibriyan," when you said the, the explanation of Ibn Kathir, what this explanation about this verse that I said "Maraj al Bahrain al Taqiyan" no, or about, another verse? No, it's not about the verse you said. It was about the other verse. No, I said. You see, you see, you, you, why are you twisting, Christian Prince? I said, I need the explanation of Ibn Kathir. About this verse, mm. Marjal Bahraini Al Taqiyan. So now what we will do? Uh, well, Abdul, you see, let me get you busted. I was joking with you. Yes, this is about the verse you choose. This is exactly the verse you choose. Let me show you in the screen, Abdul. You see, I'm making fun of you. You are an idiot. This is the chapter 55, chapter 55, from verse number 14 to 25. And yes, this is the exact verse you choose. It says, Marjal Bahraini Al Taqiyan. Yes. Okay, and then it says, Okay, this is explanation. I'm ready to apologize. 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 I'm ready to you choose for me. Listen, this is the no, chapter. Hold on. Let me show. Let me show you. Let me show you. Uh, are you, looking, you see, I'm ready can, to you, can you look at the screen? Can you look at this? Can you look at the screen? No, you see, I'm, this is uh, how can I say it? I cannot really. Mm, it's cannot. not about. Okay. So uh, you said said to me, Marjul Bahrain Yal Taqiyan, Bayna Barzakhun La Yabriyan. This is the one you want, right? Good. Yes. Okay. Correct. Okay. okay. This is in the screen. Everybody see. This is the chapter 55. Yes. Verses 19 and 20. And now, says, I'm ready to apologize. Okay, explanation. Okay, now Ibn we Kathir. went to Ibn Kathir to chapter 55. Here we go, chapter 55, a brother in the top, chapter 55, interpretation from verse number 14 to verse number 25. So, this, those are the verses you choose for me. It is about the two seas, and one is salty, and the other one is a fresh. I'll check it and I'm apologizing. I see. Okay, mm. my turn. I apologize if I did a mistake. Mm. You see, maybe I didn't. Uh, and I did a mistake, really. Okay. I thought it's about this one. Okay, I'm no ready. problem. No problem. Just so please. it's a mistake. No yes. problem, my yes. friend. But now we, our topic yes. still is not finished. The infinite knowledge of Allah. Yes. How, how Allah yes. do you think that there is a sea of a fresh water? And you are the one who agree with me that by using the word sea, he must me must be he meant to water and they both are salty so allah he used the wrong word for by using sea 
and you agreed with me thank you now what? why Allah you think the salty water never mix with the fresh water what kind of God he says such a stupid thing you see like I said CP mm -hmm. this is you see I don't want to curse your mother because please for the what, purpose of respect, what, curse my mother, what my mother have to do with this if, if Islam is wrong you can prove you already prove it wrong no problem okay. if you're trying to prove it okay but be respectful I don't want to insult you or Allah, your wife Allah, Allah, he call or us, mother. Allah, he call us, Allah, he call us pigs. Allah, he call us, uh, what? And you know how I talk. So why you call me and why you text me? You don't like to listen to me. Don't call me. Why you call me? You know that I call Allah idiot. And he is. Because this is idiot talk. And you are the one who agree with me. You are the one who says, by using the word Bahrain, which means two seas, Allah, he must yeah. be speaking about two salty water. But as you see, Allah is an idiot. <laughs> he thinks that there's a sea of, mother, of a fresh water. <laughs> I said I said it to your mother is get lost. Never insult my mother, you faithy. Faithy coward. I'm not going to insult your mother. I'm not in your standard. I'm not a trashy like you. Now talking about your God. And your God is an idiot and we prove it the God who think that there is a sea of a fresh water and a sea of salty water and they never mix he is an idiot God this is the infinite stupidity of Allah what kind of God this God is they think that the first Muhammad is trying to explain why always we have a fresh water in the ground. So he think there's a sea of salty water and there is a sea of fresh water and they never mix. Allah, he put a barrier between them. The Muslims in the Islamic videos in YouTube, they lie and they say the barrier, brother, about the fresh water going in the sea and they are not mixing. The fact water always mix. What are you talking about? And they say to you the concentration of the salty water, blah, blah, blah. All of this is a garbage. It's not exists. It's true. You can write down right now go and mix half cup of fresh water with half cup of salty water and let us see if they mix or not <laughs> that's a lie but the god of islam saying they never mix he put a barrier with them and the barrier is a ground is a is a is a, is a, is a ground it is a rock and this is a complete partition between them do you see it so they never transgress and what the word Barzakh mean? Barzakh mean a piece of land. Do you see it? He placed a barrier of land between those two types of water. In the Muslim videos, they lie and they say, this is about two waters going in the sea, and there is a fresh water, a spring of water in the sea. They are not mixing. The fact they are mixing, but because there is a current of water, always there is a fresh water coming. As simple as that. Do you see how we get them busted? And do you see how when when they cannot <clears throat> handle it, they start insulting? What my mother have to do with this? Why you are insulting my mother? Shame on you. I lost my respect to you. I like to spank you from time to time. And now I blocked you. I will spank who now? You made me sad, Faris. If you know my mother, you will cry, my friend. My mother is a walking, talking library, not like your idiot God. My mother, she knew all your Islamic Sharia law books. She memorized them before me finishing my school. My mother, she knew the Bible copy to copy, letter by letter. I don't. You recite two words for her from any chapter in the Bible, she recite the rest of all the chapter or all the Bible without even opening the book. I cannot do that. My mother is not a stupid like you. She's a genius, not only smart. Now, <clears throat> any Abdul? anyone never insult somebody mother because if you insult people mother they would that will bring insult to your mother 
So if Pharisee respect his mother, he will not do that. Obviously, he don't care for her mother, but he's lucky I am not a person who would do such a thing. I will never say a bad word for his mother. Actually, if I see her, I will greet her and I will respect her. I did not grow in a house where we insult old women. A man, he do that, he is not a man. Trust me, he is not a man. A man, he beat a woman. A man, he insult women. A man who treat old women with disrespect, he is not a man. When I see a woman, she is old. I really, I feel like I want to do anything just to help her. It doesn't matter who she. She is a Muslim. She is a Christian. She is Hindu. She is Buddha. It doesn't matter. She is the same as my mother, and I respect her. And do you know what is the punishment and the penalty of disrespecting the parents in the Bible? Death. So if a person disrespects his parents, the penalty is death. That's how much the Bible making it as a bigger crime. Imagine, you know, your mother who carried you, take care of you, she brought you to life, and your father who worked all his life to feed you and make you a man, and now you became big, six foot, tall and you start harming them shame on you the one who harm other people parents he harm his parents too and obviously Faris is not a good person sadly anyway uh, I think we have enough today to prove the infinity of the stupidity of the God of Islam <laughs> Not the infinite knowledge. <laughs> this God, he think that the water, they are not mixing. You know, Im imagine I ask him to give us an example of knowledge of Allah. And he gave us this. Don't say, guys, don't say go to hell. Don't say that, please. We don't want to see that. You know, forgive him. He is a, he is a, you know. He is what he is. Just forgive him. Don't call him names and don't say to go to hell. Pray for what, what Jesus said. Pray for them. Not say to them, go to hell. All right? So I pray that Pharisee will see the truth and the truth will set him free. He is just an ignorant man. And I ask him to repent and never insult the mother of somebody else because... If he is an idiot like you, he will insult back your mom. Your mom, she is sitting home. She has no idea what, what, what her son is doing. Why you are you going to insult someone, mother? Shame on you. You are asking for insult for your mother. This is exactly what you are saying. You say to me, etc., to your mother, and then I say it back to you. And okay, and for me, I said my opinion about the teaching of Allah. It's an idiot teaching. What kind of God do you think that salty water and fresh water never mix? The fact all the fresh water we have is coming from the salty water. Right? All the fresh water we have is coming from the sea. The sea is more than 70% of the space of the earth, which means you can say the earth is sea. We are just an island <laughs> in, 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 in the sea. In the ocean so when this God he says such a statement he is proving to us that not only he don't have knowledge he is ignorant since an early age when you are in school they teach you that there is something is called rain cycle and what rain cycle is very simple Let us show you the rain cycle in the screen. Rain cycle is ocean, the sun heat the water, the, the water became a steam, the steam became a cloud, the cloud pushed by air, and then when hot air meet with cold air, then that steam will turn into water. 
that water will head down the ground and will bring fresh water because the steam does not carry with it the salt of the sea the salt is heavy to be carried so simply the cycle of the rain is a cycle of a, a salty water turned on to fresh water your God saying that there is two seas they never met proving to us that Allah is a false God I do not you know I do not need really to be genius to find out that this is a proof that Allah to be false a tibi is, is he is he a Muslim is Tibi is a Muslim Are you a Muslim, Mr. Tidi? And imagine that Faris, he chose for us this example. He is the one who chose it. We ask him, okay, give us an example of the knowledge of Allah. He said this. Tidi is a Hindu. And what I will talk to him about if he's a Hindu. What I will do with the Hindu. Our topic here is about Islam. You're welcome, my friend, but we take calls from Muslims. Any Mohammedan? Any Mohammedan here? So, uh, what we discover in this, uh, we are here for how long now? We are here for two hours? Almost. Less than two hours. What we discover since we start broadcasting until now, that Allah do not have any infinite knowledge he have an infinite stupidity and not even a single Muslim was able to prove me wrong okay can you explain to me the teaching of Jehovah's Witnesses it's very easy Jehovah's Witnesses they believe that Jesus is an angel and they believe there's gods and they have a false translation of the Bible from the first verse in the book of John, you will see they exchange the word God with a God, which means there's many gods. We Christian, we believe in monotheism, Trinity, three person, one God. We do not believe in a God, and Jesus is not a God, and Jesus is not an angel. So all what Jehovah's Witnesses is is just a stupid cult. as simple as that the same as Islam they have a fabricated translation of the Bible and never accept Bible from Jehovah's Witnesses it's false all right we'll take you two seconds to find that Jehovah's Witnesses are false the same as Allah and Muhammad Who is who is the what what the what the Bible says? Who is the Antichrist? The one who denied the Father and the Son, correct? Okay. And you are telling me who, what what's wrong with Jehovah's Witnesses? Anyway, uh, I think we have enough for today. And uh, you know, Jehovah's Witnesses are not Unitarians. Jehovah's Witnesses believe in gods. Who told you, Rene, that they are Unitarians? Who told you that? They believe in gods. This is why they say, and the word was a god. You speak English better than me, Rene. When you put a in the front of a name, that means there's many of them, right? A house, a pen. It's mean there's many. If it is only one, then we say 
was not a was God because only there's only one God correct so they are not Unitarian they are just a cult another cult full of errors and mistakes and stupidity uh, hey my friend the Teddy you give us headache with about you lying or not we don't care we told you we take copies we we, we take calls from Muslims and you gave us a headache since you came you want to upload the picture what is this drama is about you see brother why I'm not married now Teddy is the same as many people in this earth they like a drama he just entered the chat instead of saying hello how are you guys right away we get into drama he wanna put the picture for him now he wanna sign it he wanna say to us hey brother editor I'm a proof to you that I am a real person and the proof I am 60 and you knew it take it easy my friend it's a chat you might have a heart attack take it easy what's wrong with people it's just a chat it is YouTube which means you now now you are in the tube don't you want to get out brother <laughs> Lord have mercy <laughs> uh, do you have any debate with Australian Muslim my friend I don't ask people where are they from I don't care if they're Australian and there is Australian Muslim now how, how you can be Muslim and Australian at the same time those are immigrants they went there and they are not Australian the, the, the Quran says that Muslims do not and they cannot be Muslims if they accept the law of different country so if you live in Australia and you accept the law of Australia that's mean you're not a Muslim you are a, you are a more Ted upper state so those are hypocrite not really Muslims anyway guys I want to say thank you for being here and I hope we learn something good for today uh, if I can come tomorrow I will if not maybe the day after so remember always that knowledge is power and Allah don't have it and this is the very clear proof that Allah cannot be God what kind of God you don't have knowledge so all what the Muslim they say to us we have one God who care uh, nothing like Allah I agree I mean don't you see how stupid he is so when you say to me I have God and then your God does not have knowledge obviously your God is a shish kebab it's a falafel falafel is better it's, it's real it's tasty and real hummus is better who is your God ignorant God so a very easy way to discover who we are talking about God who speak but yet he say nothing except foolishness the true God is not foolish foolishness will never go out of his mouth for his God so the God of Islam he failed with the ethic he have a bad ethic the God of Islam he failed with his teaching with his promises with his prophecies and with his knowledge so what is left a God he think women have a sperm coming from their ribs he think that fresh water and salty water never mix he think that the Sun set in murky water he don't remember which one he created first the grass the trees or the stars yet you call him God okay it's up to you brother call him God I call him potato with this I want to say thank you all of you for being here if you like to learn more you can read my books and thanks for those who support us in donation and always we appreciate your support Christ is Lord Islam is false and see you soon again. Take care.